It's time to fix your raiding UI. While a good UI won't single-handedly make you a pro raider, having information displayed cleanly will improve your awareness and consistency in the long run. I'm KOK, former rank 1 Aglaia White Mage, and I'm here to give you three basic tips to shape your UI into something that will actively help you in raids instead of hindering you. Step 1. Make the important elements big. In level of importance, that would be the boss's cast bar, your party list, your buffs and debuffs, your gauge, and the enmity list. Don't make them too big though, since you still need a clear view of the boss and the arena, not the glowy mechanics that are happening in the raid. There's going to be a delicate balance on how big you need to make something to see it well enough without taking up too much space, and it's really going to be up to your own personal preference what that balance is. Depending on how you play, you can also prioritize things like your minimap, your HP and mana, or your own cast bar. Step 2. Clean up the trash. And I don't mean your party finder members. Make the unimportant things small or remove them all together. Your quest lists? Completely worthless in your raid. They even gave you a setting that auto hides it in instances. Your gill or inventory status? Sometimes it's useful knowing if your inventory is full for all those ultimate totems you'll be getting, but it's very minor and not directly helpful in your raid. So if you want to keep it around, just make sure it's small and tucked away. And no, you don't need your emote hotbar, your mount hotbar, your top hotbar, or your job switch hotbar in your raid. There could be arena mechanics or lalafells hiding behind them. One of those which are actually important to clearing raids. It might not seem that important, but having things clear and uncluttered will improve your overall awareness of your surroundings. Either turn those hotbars into a toggle, or have a separate HUD layout for your ERP. If something won't directly benefit you in your raid, hide it. Keep your raid bars clean. Step 3. Centralize the important things. You know those important UI things that I mentioned earlier in step 1? You need to put those towards the center of your screen. Not dead center, because that's where the boss goes, but as close as you can without impacting your view of the arena. Humans can see a lot in their peripheral vision, but the farther away you go from your focus point, the blurrier things become. Imagine a circle in the center of your screen, that's where you should be looking a majority of the time, so that's where all the important things should go. It's not a good idea to put important things far away, because yes, you can move your eyes to look at it, but while you're looking in the corner of your screen, everything else is now out of view. So make that boss cast bar big, and put that somewhere where you're never going to miss it. Probably the biggest offender of this is the people that never move their party list out of Narnia, aka the default starting place. If you're a healer that does this, you need to immediately change this. Your entire job is monitoring people's HP, and you can't afford to be staring at the corner of your screen the whole time. Even if you're not a healer, modern ultimates have a ton of mechanics that require you to pay attention to your party member's debuffs. So having that critical info tucked away where you might miss it is bad. And even if you're not a healer, it's good in general to be aware of your party members so that if you notice someone taking a damage down, you can pot or use extra gauge and cooldowns to meet the check and save the pull. You never want to be that clueless guy typing, huh, why was our damage so low there? When the damage down was displayed for over a minute and your UI was just so bad you didn't notice. So with these three tips, you should be able to create a UI for yourself that fits your preferences and also helps you out in your raids. Here's a few extra bonus tips for the people that made it to the end of the video. Use simple job gauges if you don't mind the looks. Normal job gauges sometimes take up way too much space, and they make processing your gauge info harder. The white mage gauge in particular, it's really hard to quickly tell what your lily status is at a glance, which is something that's pretty bad for healers and recovery situations. And also, set up toggle macros that can quickly hide your unimportant raid bars. I do think having things like job switch bars or top bars are sometimes useful, but in the cases where they're not, it shouldn't be shown in your raid. And you can get rid of that with just a single button if you decide to set up your toggle macros properly. There's a lot of guides on that on YouTube, so you could probably figure out how to do that. 
I believe in you. And finally for my last bonus tip, look through your settings. The game actually offers a lot of quality of life and the dev team constantly adds a little bit more each patch. Now that you know what makes a good UI, you can have that in mind while you look through all your system settings and some things might make sense to you to change. For example, I like having 10 icons display on my party list. I just like having as much important information as I can to aid me in my decision making process while I raid. I will also say I look through a couple of content creators just to see what they like to use. And I gotta say, Momo's HUD layout is actually BIS. This thing is clean and follows all of the steps properly, even better than I do. So props to him. That's why he's the healer go. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found it a little bit useful and I'll see you around.